uh, in factoring this polynomial, what I would want to do first is I would want to make sure that my students remembered that when factoring perfect square trinomials, we need to have memorized that a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b quantity squared and that a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to quantity a, oh, I'm sorry, a minus, a minus b quantity squared. We need to have these memorized. Once you have these memorized, it's kind of easy to figure out which one is your A, which one is your B in this polynomial. So now looking back at this polynomial, I can look here and I can see this represents my A squared. This one represents my B squared. And if I just wanted to figure out what just A was, I could take the square root of q squared and that would give me q and same thing with the 9 fourths I could take the square root of 9 fourths and then that would give me 3 halves so that means my a is going to be q my b is going to be 3 halves now let's see if this 3q fits this 2ab. Let's see if we can get that to be equal to each other. So 2ab is going to be 2 times q times 3 halves. That's going to give me 6 halves q which is equal to 3q so it works out it's a perfect fit I know for sure that this trinomial is a perfect square trinomial because the a squared term is a perfect square the 9 fourths was a perfect square because I took the square root of 9 fourths and I got 3 halves and the 3q fit this model of 2ab so now that you know what your a is now that you know what your b is you know how to get your answer this is your A, this is your B. So that means I'm going to have to write now Q squared plus 3Q plus 9 fourths is equal to, we're going to have to write A, right? The A first. Our A was Q. Plus, now we have to write the B. Our B was 3 halves. And we're done. Thank you.